Good evening ladies and gentlemen. This is my first YouTube video and today I try to show you how to get keys for peerless bosses. Uh, in this special case how to get the keys for Lady Melisande who is the peerless boss of the Blighted Grove uh, Mondan's Legacy Dungeon. Um, first of all we, had, we have to get a bone machete. machete don't know the pronunciation I'm not a native English speaker in German it would sound like machete so I'm really sorry if my pronunciation is wrong um, we have to get this item in order to enter the dungeon where Lady M and her minions reside in the end we try to get this Dryad's blessing which is essentially the key or the quest item we need to enter um, Lady M's uh, lair so first of all we have to go to the blighted grove and um, you can see here the entrance and that's uh, this this uh, tangled tree here and that's the reason why we need this item to cut through so this template as you can see is a stealther and uh, I can walk in there hidden which is far easier than um, running around uh, visible because there are some really nasty um, minor bosses and some really nasty spawn which is not fun to deal with it can be really nasty place so first of all we need to uh, get the um, quest from this little frightened dryad just talk to her and accept the quest and uh, now you can see um, in your quest log bound to the land what you have to do you have to kill 12 insane dryads and one saliva I first will show you how to kill an insane dryad the easiest way is to walk slightly south to this very tree here you can see it here is this I think I should make it visible um, and um, the trick is that the uh, insane dryad spawns in the very moment you appear, uh, you approach this tree. If you are visible and you come close, it will spawn. So we can easily place um, a summon right by the tree and um, disappear. Let the summon clean up the place, already did, and now she won't appear unless you don't move. So I can precast invisibility go close to the tree you see she has appeared and then invis uh, invis myself the colossus will do the rest of the dirty work until she died and here you can see you've killed a quest creature 11 more left that's all it's really pretty easy you have to wait five minutes until the next riot will spawn you can do whatever you want um, in the meantime just wait here and it's every time the same trick drop your summon on this very place um, precast invisibility run to the tree she will appear and after that you can disappear and let the colossus do the work you can do it with a tamer you can do it with a dragon you can do it with a sioux uh, you can do it with um, other summons it's really pretty easy so do it 11 times and you're ready um, I will do a shortcut now and show you how to kill the uh, yeah the far more problematic creature which is Saliva she is a green uh, harpy and resides f close to the place we have visited uh, in this small area you can enter when you walk through this wall I really strongly recommend to play this with a stealth so that you can stay hidden while you are searching for her and scanning the place I go inside you see there's harpies there's there are changelings which are really nasty people and here is the um, saliva you just have to kill the saliva nobody else this is the creature you have to kill so hurry place your summon close to her and invis as fast as you can stay hidden and wait until she is dead may take some time because other spawn is running around maybe she isn't 
perfectly placed for attacking her. Sometimes she's stuck between the stuff standing around here, but usually it's not that complicated if you stay not too close to her. The spawn is very f quick here, which is not very easy. Sometimes you have just to wait until the uh, your pet or the summon has cut its way through the stuff. But now we are on her, and you can see she goes. You we can see she goes down quite quickly. Now one hit left, I think, or two, and after that. Come on, the changeling first, as always. I could have killed her with the spell, but I just want to show you the easy way. Good. We have done it. We have killed the requested creature of this type and now we can leave this place again. Just walk through the wall and stay hidden so you can leave it without being attacked by the mean stuff running around here. I would recommend now to go back to the, the little tree I showed you right here. Just wait some minutes, drop your spawn, and um, collect your keys. And after you got your 12, um, your 12 kills of the respected respective uh, creature type, um, you get a message, and you can go back to the frightened dryad, which is standing right here, and she will give you this lovely bluish bubble you have to throw it into this basket and you will get the final keys which allow you to enter lady m's lair maybe i show you how to kill lady m but uh, just one remark easiest way to kill her is to have one better is two tamers attacking her, keeping the dragons alive, and finishing her with word of death. It's really not a hard business. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope I can uh, make a lot, of m a lot of more of these little tutorials for other peerless bosses and their keys. I'm planning to make a tutorial for Travesty and others, and I hope to fill my YouTube channel soon enough. For today, it's a goodbye from me. See you soon.